Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this nice glitchy animated text perfect as intro for videos. So let's start from changing the color of my background here in Procreate. Now in the next layer I'm going to pick just a random brush to create a little bit of texture in the middle of this background. So random brush, a little bit darker color than background and few strokes now in the middle of my screen to create a texture. Just like that. Don't need to be precise because we're going to apply the glitch effect on it now. So go to adjustments and pick glitch, add to layer and now you can add some effects here. Okay, it's glitchy, it's much better already, but I'm going to use cursor, distort it a little bit myself, and then I will apply glitch effect again. So again, adjustment, glitch, and different glitch this time. And here it is. Nice texture for our glitchy animation. Now, you can double tap on this layer to reduce the opacity, make it transparent, just like this, not too strong. So double click on the layer and then you can reduce the opacity just like me. It's time to create a new layer, layer 2, and I'm going to add text here. Change the font and color of your text. Okay, here's my text, just drag it to the middle of my page. Now I'm going to use some distortion. Just pull some corner, corner using the cursor. Okay, much better. Next, I would like to duplicate this layer. So, Drag it to the left and click duplicate. Now I got the copy of that layer. I'm going to reduce the opacity of that copy. So double click on the copy and reduce opacity. Sorry, double tap, <laughs> not click. We are not using mouse here. So double tap, reduce the opacity, and then we can distort the, the copy layer. It's a little bit transparent. It's got different color thanks to that. So I got the copy layer behind the main layer. And I think we are now ready to start our animation. So I just pinching them all together to merge my three layers. So I got my text, copy of text and this texture background all together on layer one now. It's time to open our animation assistant here. As you can see, at the bottom of my screen, I got my timeline now. I got the first frame here. So let's duplicate that frame. Double click on it and click duplicate. This is the copy of the first frame. I'm going to apply adjustment and glitch effect. Just a little bit. Then I'm going to back to my timeline. And again, duplicate the frame. After duplicate is created, go to adjustment, glitch, and once more, a little bit 
of glitch effect here and there. Perfect, one more duplicate. Okay, you know the drill now. So we're going to make some duplicates and add a little bit of glitch effect on each one. So I'm going to speed up this video now. So we can jump to the final results quicker, okay? So I'm going to continue this workflow. Duplicate the frame and add some glitch effects in adjustment panel. Before we finish, I'm going to back to our second frame and duplicate that. Now I'm going to drag this duplicate of second frame to the end. Almost the end, maybe here. Okay, now I'm going to use hold duration on it. So I change that to 6. So this one will be longer in our timeline. So we will see like little pose on this one frame in our animation. So I changed the setting to ping pong and let's give it a go. Let's try it. As you can see, it's like freezing on one frame for six. Okay, it's nice, but I think I should move it closer to the front of the timeline. So I'm going to do it next. I'm going to move this long frame more to beginning of my animation. So I'm moving this back to the front, maybe here. Okay, let's try it now. Yeah, much better. Okay, so we got our glitching text ready to be exported. So how can we save this as animated GIF or maybe even MP4 video format? It's really simple. Just go here, click share and select the format you like, animated GIF or animated MP4. In my case, 12 frames per second. Perfect, exporting. In case you cannot see this option, you cannot see export as animated GIF or MP4, 99% of cases it's because your canvas is just too big. So do not set up very big canvas for animation projects, okay guys? Okay, that's it. Thank you for today and I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, please click like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks guys, see you next time.